at the ripe young age of however old I was. <laughs> Mom, let me see some tits. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, I mean, obviously, the whole story is <clears throat> is quite a quite a lot, you know, quite a lot, especially considering that it's based on true events that unfolded. Well, you know. Also, another thing about Titanic, it's just such a long movie. I mean, I can't not mention it because I have to mention it because it's just who I am as a person. It's so long. Like, who has the time? Anyhow. You want to know if the boobs were a true story or was it just made up thing for the movie? I don't, I really don't know the story that much. So I can't give you an exact answer whether or not the boobs were a thing. However, I can, I think, tell you that most of the ladies on the ship potentially at least had one boob, maybe even a pair. There is a very big chance that that was the case. The ladies might have had some tits. Were they exposed? That's a different story. <laughs> Boobs were invented in the 1930s. Prior to that, no one had any titage of any kind. I can understand Charles from that kind of perspective. Yes, from like the... From the... Um, CG whatever type of thing. Right, I don't know about the the tit drawing story. I don't know if that's real or made up just for like cinematic value. I'm sure if you would ask that mother Google, you you would you would not be the first one who who asks that question. Red dog, hello. Well, I can understand from a point of view that, you know, in, in that particular time, obviously, the when it came to, you know, saving people, there was the notion women and children first and then the men are sort of, you know, sucks to be you. I can understand from that kind of perspective. Like, yes, you were certainly left on your own devices, you know? <clears throat> sure has labeled every artist ever though do people ask you draw me like one of your french girls absolutely yes absolutely well i'm doing all right thank you thank you very much having a pretty solid day um the progress on today's uh painting hasn't been the greatest but then again we've been rambling a lot so it's fine. You have arrived during a titanic discussion. I mean, we're mostly talking about the tits, I guess, so... I uh, probably get this question a lot, but did I study illustration at uni slash college? What was my opinion on it if I did? Well, 
I sort of had my attempts at um, at studying some artistic things in university, and uh, I did not finish it purely because I didn't feel like I was getting, quite frankly, much out of it at all. Um, well, at the same time, it wasn't per se just like me studying illustration. It was like a whole bunch of different things. Um, so the painting and the drawing, it wasn't like a major part of the whole program. There were many other things involved and, um, you know, I just, I didn't feel like I was gaining much. <laughs> Um, I think as far as like, you know, deciding whether or not to go to art school and, and all of that, it, um, it all boils down to a couple of things. Firstly, um, do you exactly know what you want to do after you finish the whole thing? You know, there certainly might be fields where it's very beneficial to go into some sort of schooling. It may, it, may it be like illustrations for like you know, some some sort of Pixar-esque type of stuff, you know, going into animation and whatnot. I'm sure it's beneficial. Just studying art for art studying sake in order to get better at it, I think you can do it on your own. Another thing to take into account is um, how much depth are you going to get <laughs> into. If the studies are for free, then, you know, if you have the time and the possibility, it may be fine. But if you're then going to gather up like a huge chunk of money that you need to repay, I don't know if it's really worth it. So anyhow and anywho. You didn't find out. Well, truly disappointing, Eric. Apparently the sketch um, used in the movie was done by the director himself and sold for 10k. I mean, cool, I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, that's quite something. <laughs> Well, that is quite frankly not what I'm thinking. I'm aware that there are people being able to sell all kinds of things for much more than just 10k. And you know, whether or not said things are stupid, that is quite frankly just down to each individual person, you know. rather than telling you if there were boobs on this play on the real Titanic and you just, you know, didn't get the answer disappointing truly, yes. Well, I mean, over the years we have had all kinds of talks about, you know, <laughs> the value of art and why things sell for 